Has someone ever said to you, or perhaps you've said to someone, Oh, don't think like that. It's one of those silly things we say to one another without having really thought it through. It's in the same vein as the a watched pot never boils saying. Well, yeah, it does. If you don't believe me, go put on a pot of water and stand there and watch it. It'll boil. Now, without the origin understood for context, these things are just plain nonsense. Now, as soon as we're told not to think about something, the first thing we do is think about it. No? Okay. Don't think about oranges. How'd you do? We're powerless over the thoughts which float through our mind's eye. However, we choose the action upon becoming aware of said thoughts. Now, oranges are not much of a problem, but there exists in all of us a voice of discord and negativity embedded in the subconscious that is constantly looking for a reason to be upset, outraged, or indignant. The origin of the voice is secondary, the action we choose to take paramount. Having embarked on living on the spiritual basis, the action is to turn from the lower to the higher by way of prayer, meditation, and service. Now, our course of action is simple. When a negative thought is persistent, we engage in some distracting activity, such as a phone call to a friend inquiring about them. Do not speak of your negative thoughts, remember oranges. An engrossing book, some exercise, meeting with like-minded people over coffee, there are many others. If possible, find a way to be of service. Nothing relieves us of the bondage of self, and all negative thinking binds us in self as intensive work with others. The key is to substitute positive thinking and action for the negative thoughts. Simple, but not easy. When we begin this way of living, it will feel clunky and somewhat uncomfortable. Remember the first few times you rode a bike? But as long as we are diligent in time, it will become second nature. My name is Vincent Lee Jones. You can find my writings and videos on Facebook at Miracles of Recovery and at Vincent Lee Jones. <clears throat> if you search Vincent Lee Jones, you'll find them on a variety of sites across the internet. I'm the creator of the Miracles of Recovery Project. The Miracles of Recovery Project takes a new look at addiction recovery in America today. We have the tools. There are tens of thousands of caring people who are trying to help today. The money is there. It's the application where we're failing. When we change the way we look at things, the things we look at change. We need to take the tools that we have today, those that have worked in the past, and those that are a new creation in dealing with addiction, and apply them evenly. Building a box of recovery for the individual, not building a box to fit the individual into. So please join me at miraclesofrecovery.com. Join the conversation and we can save uncounted lives. My name is Vincent Lee Jones, miraclesofrecovery.com. Have a blessed day.